Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the console environment while being logged in to uh, an UpMax computer cluster, in this case Rackham. And this session is part of the course Intro to UpMax Day 1. And this is part of the second session, which is basic use from a terminal. Um, we've already logged in using visual tools and using a website and using a thin link, whatever that is. Um, and in this session, basic use from a terminal, we have logged in using SSH. And now we're going to use that terminal to do basic things. So that takes us to this page again. And I'm not going to walk you through why you should do this and how to learn Linux. <coughs> I'm going to go through the exercises. Um, and because this is about Linux, I'll probably be Googling uh, like you will be googling. It's well documented everything we're going to do here So let's first look exercise one you are on a terminal on a Rackham login node You see this so let's confirm if this is true. I've already logged in to the Rackham login node So I see Richel at Rackham 2 so that make a bit of more space um, Yeah, so this is my prompt it's called and what does this all mean? Well, there are some tips. You can search for terminal prompt, search the UpMax documentation for terminal. Let's let's do this. So I go to the UpMax documentation, and I'm gonna search for the word terminal. Let's do that. Terminal. There. And let's take a look. And what does all the stuff on the command line mean? And this is the prompt be it being explained in details. So for example, Rackham2, or what I have is, what do I have there? I have Rackham2, so this means I'm on the login node. This is my UpMax username. This tilde, it's called, or squiggle, is that I'm in the home folder. This dollar means um, that the terminal is ready for input from me, so I can type stuff and it will do something if I type something sensible, that is. So that's exercise one. File navigation. You are in a terminal on a Rackham, Rackham login, no, that's correct. Find out the directory you are in. Which command do you use? Let's take a look at the tips. So um, I can I can Google this, but I like also to use this book I've shown you above. Surely so there's this book, the Linux command line. It's a it's a it's a book that's both online and in print. And I'm gonna take that hint to go to the navigation chapter, which is here, and I need to find out wh which folder I am now. And I'm scanning it. So there's navigation files as much as PVD. CD, I just a few shortcuts. So I guess PVD. Oh, all right. Oh, this looks good. So apparently PVD. Does it tell what that means? The directory we are standing in is called the working directory. To see the name of the working directory, use the PVD command. All right. So this is where you can find it. Um, uh, Googling is also a fine way. Let's confirm this on Rackham and do PBD. Hey, I'm in my home folder. Um, actually, this is um, this tilde is, is a shorthand notation for this. So with PBD, I see that I'm indeed in my home folder. Um, next thing, so I found this one out. Create a file called test. So I'm gonna. It's not in the book, so I need to look for Linux create file. Let's Google this. Oh, I use DuckDuckGo. Um, how to create a file in Linux. I'll take the first hit. It's probably well documented. There it is. Touch. That's what you need to do. Touch. All right, all right. Back to the exercise. I need to create a file called test or text. And I need to use touch. So let's do it. Touch. What was it again? Test.text. Test.text. And I've created the file, I guess. Find out which files are in your home folder from the terminal again. Or did I miss this? Oh, I missed this. 
I need to find out which files are in my home folder. To find this out, you need to uh, look here, for example, in the Linux book. And it's looking around, you use ls to list the files and directories. I'm going to do this now. So I'm on Rackham login home folder again, and with ls I see my files in my home folder. And what did we create? Test.txt. It's there. Great, we did it. Back to the exercise. We've created this file and we've confirmed that it was there. And now we're going to copy it. Sure. So there's a link to the Linux book here again. I need to copy a file. Let's take a look how easy we can find it. Ah, it's the, it's the second line, copy files and directories. So this looks too complex to me. Is that just a regular copy command? Here, copy file one, file two. I guess this is the file you want to copy and this is the file you want to name it to. Let's do this, copy test uh, dot yes yeah, so if you press tab it will auto complete if I press tab now you'll see the X and T be appended there I need to call it copy dot text there we go and if I do ls to see all my files it is here I did it back to the exercises delete the file copy dot text and confirm that it worked so there's a link here to the Linux command line book. I'm going to close all these other tabs while I'm here. There, 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 there. Uh, ah, I already see it. Remove files and directories. Let's take a look where it's described. I can just click on it. <coughs> uh, I don't know what this is. Yeah, I do know what this is, but I guess it's remove and then the file. Let's do it. Let's just try it out. Remove copy.txt to ls and it's gone. Alright, so that I've done the exercise here again. Rename the file test.txt to test2.txt and confirm that it works. Use tab completion on the first file name. So I need to rename a file and go go to this chapter again there. So we need to rename a file. So that is there, remove files. Let's click on this. What does it tell me? Move, ah, I guess move source to destination. All right, so it's something like move test.txt and to test2.txt. So I've now moved it. If I do ls, I see that the file test.txt is no longer there. It's now called test2.txt. Note that in this case, the file test2.txt was already there. It's overwritten. Uh, silently, there were empty files anyways. Right, next. Create a folder called my folder and confirm that it worked. So let's take a look what the book says, how to create a folder. Ah, create directories. So that's what we need to do. And I'm going to scroll down because I felt, yeah, like th this is better explained. Remove, make their, make their directory name. All right, I think that's all I need to know. I need to make a folder called, let's take a look at the exercise. My folder, let's do it. Make their my folder. And it is here. Next exercise. Copy the my folder folder to my copy folder and confirm that it worked. So first we're going to do this in a naive way, alright? We're going to just use co cp, the copy command to copy and you'll see that there's an error uh, here. Copy my folder, my folder to my copy. And here it says omitting directory my folder. And this is because you need to do it recursively with dash capital R, that will work. How do I find this? Well, I just take a look at the Linux book again. And I'm going to take a look at copy. I'm going to scroll down. I like that documentation better. 
and here it says copy dash r directory one directory two copy the contents of directory one there so that is how I found out I need to use capital R there copied if I do ls I will see it here next exercise delete the my copy folder and confirm that it worked well I'm gonna take a look at the Linux book I'm gonna close all the other things um, I guess that's a remove because it removes directories too let's take a look at the remove I scroll down all right I need to use dash lower R for remove to remove it let's take a look remove dash R what do I need to delete again my copy my copy LS indeed my copy was here and now it is gone next exercise rename the my folder to my best folder and confirm that it works so that's just probably move again move my folder to my best folder that works without even looking at the documentation uh, yeah and you can find it in the book here all right we're gonna start a program and maybe you've already started XIs we're gonna do it again uh, XIs enter maybe now have started this program that shows a set of eyes this only works if X forwarding is enabled we have discussed that um, I'm gonna close it or what does the exercise say close XI so there are many ways to close it um, so let's put it on so one way to close is control C that's one way uh, you could also click on it to close it um, I'll show you how to do that too X eyes you click here on the X and it's it's gone too all right so control C and the um, uh, the cross will both work next starting a text editor create a file called my file or text well I remember this this is what's called touch my file text edit the file by opening it with a nano text editor all right so how I'm gonna do that well I'm gonna search the upmax documentation uh, for this nano and to see all right so this is how it looks like uh, all right so this is how you s edit the file let's do it nano oh it's the same word great hey palm I am editing this is great so how do I save this thing well I do know that uh, control X works I'm gonna so here's exit control X it says do you want to save I press uh, why now I need to give the file name and press enter and now it's saved but did I already do the exercise completely now edit the file I did it what is the name of the graphical text editor well it's called nano because that's the name save the file I done that close it I've done that next thing I'm gonna copy paste text and this is um, how to paste into terminal uh, or use a max documentation let's do it docs terminal and we need to copy paste in that terminal ah it's there ctrl shift c ctrl shift v well let's do it so this is my recam terminal i'm gonna select for example all this text now you can press rouse right mouse button and copy that will work if you now open up an edit on my local computer I can paste it um, but you can also do uh, control shift C to copy so you have to add shift and then a the regular control V will work too now let's do it the other way around uh, this is a very long line I copy this as regular and in the terminal I press 
I can either do right mouse button and paste, that will work. But I can also Control Shift V, that will also work. So next exercise, there is no next exercise. So I've now walked you through how to use the console environment for the introduction to UpMax Day 1. I wish you a very good day. Bye!